Hey guys, welcome back to another in this video. This isn't necessarily going to be gameplay. I might throw some gameplay in here. However, what I'm going to do is explain to you one of the reasons why I think that Enlisted needs to... That's just about a past stuff. Why Enlisted needs to seriously work on its... It's balancing factors. Um, with the new patch, they added in um, battle ratings. As you can see, it's right there. Germany, BR3. That makes no difference. Let me explain. Much like War Thunder, you will get up-tiered, damn near a full tier. There's, there's no... There's no 2.3, 2.5, 2.6. It's just literally 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And if the matchmaker can't find you an equal tier, it will ramp you right up to tier 5. So you're at tier 1, and I, this has happened to me before on my Japanese. If we go to my Japanese, they're rank, battle rank 1. And in 4 out of 5 games that I played with them, I was fighting tier 4 and 5 Americans. Do you have any idea what this pisslick little plane that doesn't even get offensive guns and gets hand grenades for bombs does against a Corsair? Oh, and by the way, I don't even start off with a tail gunner. So, this is going to slowly turn into a bit of a rant, and I am sorry for this, but enlisted, Gaijin, wake the fuck up. Okay? The fact that you give me a bomber class, and yet I have to quite literally go to my upgrade. See, look, I can't get a tail gunner. So I can't even defend myself. There is a uh, there is a gun in the plane. It's in the arse of the plane, as you can see from his shoulder right here. But guess what? I've got no tail gunner. And this plane doesn't get experience unless it kills things with its 60 kilogram bombs. So basically, I am throwing a fucking hand grenade in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean and hoping I hit a fish. Do you fucking understand that, Gaijin? Do you? And so, and don't even get me started on the Japanese research tech tree. Why is this tank here, the first tank with a gun, 20,000 EXP? Yet the Americans is only 5,000. Do you hate Japan that much? Seriously, do, do you fucking hate Japan that much? 33,000 for a fucking submachine gun at rank 1. Are you high? Are you fucking high? I quite literally have to use the uh, 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 burn through 40, uh, like 35,000 EXP just to get an A5M4 because it has offensive machine guns that I might be able to stand a fucking chance. And this thing, this anti tank rifle, might as well not even be in the game. I have quite literally put it crosshair, pop, flat piece of plate that I know is only five millimeters thick on a fucking American AA truck, shot, and nothing happened. Didn't hit, didn't miss, didn't go through, nothing fucking happened. I unloaded all five rounds, pop, 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 pop. Nothing happened, not a single shot registered, and it wasn't just a one-off fluke. It is literally every fucking time you try to use the Type 97 anti-tank rifle. It doesn't work. It is broken. It does not work. It doesn't work. Whoever fucking ha thinks that this, this is acceptable, fire them. I'm sorry, when... When, when, when a tank is issued to a, 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 a crew, yes, okay, especially in war, and I'm using your own game here, okay, when a tank is issued, yes, you get, oh look, three crewmen minimum, a driver, a gunner, and a commander. 
Why can't I get a pilot and a gunner in a fucking plane? Why do I have to grind that shit out? That makes no fucking sense. You're you're not even making sense within making you not making sense within your own fucking game. How fucking stupid are you? Seriously, how fucking monumentally brain dead are you? And this is another thing I want to point out. Let's take a look at the American, shall we? Let's take a look at their very first fighter plane, shall we? It's a fucking lightning. A lightning with bazookas and twin fucking cannons. Versus this thing. Can you make that make sense? Gaijin, you need your head examined. And don't even get me started on the sheer amount of horse shit that the... Look at this dude. He's an alien. This guy's a fucking alien. Look at his boat race. Look at him. He's a fucking alien. Here, I'll even show you. Seagull. Guess what? It gets offensive machine guns. And it even gets a fucking gunner. Next one is the British Hurricane. Then the Brewster Buffalo. Then the Dauntless. You notice how all these planes immediately start off with offensive fucking machine guns. So they can at least... Br fucking defend themselves or shoot at ground targets to get fucking experience now here here we go here's here's the oof 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 this 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 grinds my fucking gears see this thing here see this m13 gmc gun motor carriage okay look at that look at that six millimeters of armor okay basically tin Okay, Browning 50 cal. So hell, where, by the way, where's the Browning automatic rifle? Where's the BAR? It's it's not here. I'm looking. I'm not seeing it. Where, where's the Browning automatic rifle? Oh, oh, wait, there it is. Tier 3. By the way, it's a rifle. It, it was always considered a rifle, not a machine gun. Hence the term. Browning automatic rifle. It should be up there. Not down here. Now, let's see. So, you'll add the Thompson. Way late into the game, of course. You know, of course, of course, of course. So, your, your entire... Even your own tech tree doesn't make any fucking sense. It, it, it just doesn't make any fucking sense. And you cannot make it make sense. Now... Let me get back to this piece of shit. This fucking piece of shit, fucking a piece of shit, and a piece of shit, and a piece of shit, mixed with piece of shit. This is a piece of shit. Thank you, Tom McDonald. This fucking thing is a joke. This M13 gun motor carriage is a fucking joke. Because 20mm Hispano cannons that are on the fucking German BF1, on the fucking, uh, 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 um, on the AR, on the 81 c and on the fucking uh, uh, E7, because, oh, look, 20 millimeter fucking cannons. Cannons. 20 millimeter cannons that have more than six millimeters of penetration can't penetrate the fucking thing. Case in point here. I'll even test fly it. I'll even fucking show you. Okay? Here it is. BF-109. You go down to here, and you just go to practice. Okay, so you got to do is just click practice. We'll fly the plane over. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now, in, in War Thunder, okay, planes can do CAS. Let me just turn down the, the game audio a little bit. In... In, in War Thunder, okay, planes can do CAS. They can actually do close air support. Not in this game. Why? You'll see the pop-in issue. Wait for it. We'll swing around. K. 
okay? Tanks are just going to... See? See these little black globs? Those are tanks. Now, what's it going to say on my damage count? Oh, look. See? It's not even giving me my damage counter to tell me what, where I'm hitting, what I've hit, what I've missed. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So let's swing back around. Rotate the plane. See? See him pop in and out? Pop in, pop out, pop in, pop out. See? I am shooting the side of a Sherman tank with 20mm Hispanos. And it was my bombs that killed it. Not my fucking Hispanos. Do you not understand? Oh, and this is another thing. Ready? F. My flaps. Notice my flaps aren't doing shit. Because the flap commands don't fucking work. You have no flap controls. Nice one. So, let's try and take out this. Oh, look. I was hitting said gun carriage. Yeah. Nothing happened. Said gun carriage is perfectly fine. Let's do that again, shall we, Gaijin? Let's see with your own fucking eyes. Shall we, Gaijin? Let's look at the pop-in. There's the pop-in. There's the target. Wow. Still very much alive. And at this point, I would be dead because his guns would have got around and gone... Pfft. And turn my plane into tissue paper. Because according to Gaijin. Planes don't have any fucking kind of armor. Oh look. It finally fucking melted away. It finally fucking burnt down to the ground. Do, do you not get it Gaijin? That plane. That, that, that APC would have been toast. I quite. Look how low I have to get. Look at how low I have to get in order to, 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 to bomb. Makes no sense. Stuka dive bombers used to drop their bombs at about 6,000 feet. Can't do that here. Okay, let's find another target. No. Nope. See? See? Bombs on a fucking British lightly armoured car. Nothing. I quite... No tank is going to drive out into the open like that. None. No tank is going to drive out into the open like that. So, when you do actually get a chance to attack, and this is another thing, pilots blacking out over a simple turn is ridiculous. There you go. Nothing. Nothing. See? The side armor of a fucking crusader. So piss weak that German fucking machine guns could go through it. The 20 millimeter anti tail pack 40s could go through it. Oh, my engine's dead. And splat. So are you starting to see the issue that a lot of, of players are having and why you're losing players? See? I'm literally tree topping. This is not going to happen in, in any of your maps because for some reason you seem to think that every fucking map should be literally nothing but buildings. Like no battles ever took place. Uh, 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 Battle of Kursk. 
Do you know? Do you know what that was? You should. You lost so many, so many fucking Soviet. Look, look at this fog. Look at the fog. I can't. I can't. You can't do anything. You can't do anything. And and what's worse is they've lowered the render range, so planes quite literally have to be like this to fucking spot anything. Again, make it make sense. Make it make sense. And that's the thing, Gaijin, you can't. Because you have no fucking clue what you're doing. None. You have no clue what you're doing. There you go. My bombs are eliminating targets more than my guns are. And that's another thing. Why is it IL-2s seem to take all 100 plus 20 millimeter Hispano ca uh, 20 millimeter cannon rounds to drop them? And I'm shooting at their unarmored wings. Uh, buy as much? There you go. That was the rear. That was the engine deck and the rear of that tank. Which I know for a fact 20 millimeter cannons... Would have gone through like butter. Nothing. And that's another thing. We can't modify our ammunition loadouts. So what good are we for Cass if we can't actually be Cass? There you go. Please answer that. So if we can't be Cass because of how you think Cass should be played... Which, by the way, uh, what technical advisors do you have at your game company? That, uh, uh, World War II fighter pilots? Oh, you don't have any? Why is that? Oh, that's right. They're all dead, aren't they? So, yeah, you could leave this open to interpretation. Which is what you've done. But this is so piss poorly implemented. And yet the thing is, you've got the experience. You've got, you've got the experience of, of using War Thunder. You see what I'm saying? Please explain to me how... how Because if I'm up here... Okay, and bear, bear in mind... No fucking tank player... No fucking tank player... Is going to leave their tank out in the open like that. So you can go... Like that. And do nothing. Do you understand that? No tank player... Not that any of your maps are as open as this, because there isn't any. But you're starting to see my point. That was the rear engine deck of a fucking M5 Stewart. That I would have just destroyed in real life. I mean, destroyed. Fuel tanks would have ruptured. Engine would have been on fire. The whole tank would have been fucking just done. Done for. There you go. That was a full on ammunition hit. This is a this this is ridiculous. Why why are light tanks taking look this tank has taken how many shots now from my Panzer IV?
And yet, here's a pisser for you. Where's where's my reload perk? My tank has a re my my loader has a reload perk that lets me switch shells without me having to fire. Okay, now you added overpressure into War Thunder, but you haven't implemented it here. This is ridiculous. See? It's it's you at this point you might as well add hit points, like a hit point bar system. The tank's still there. No, it's finally finally cooked off. Okay. KV1. Sherman. Jump. Jumbo. Actually, let's get rid of this KV. First. Yeah, I don't know where to shoot, uh, shoot specific tanks, do I? It's a crump crusader, so if I wanted to kill the crew, I'd go there. If I wanted to eliminate the tank straight away, hmm. there we go. Long range Sherman. Three, two, one. Did my tank just rapid fire twice? Oh yeah, that bug is still in the game, isn't it? See, they've modified the IS-2. There we go. And that is the M10 Wolverine. So if I want to kill an M10... There we go. Oh, shell deviation. Okay, fair enough. No deviation that way. It's amazing how the breach, the barrel, and everything else in the turret... I'm not even aiming for the turret ring, yet I've destroyed it three times in a row now. You, are, are you starting to understand the, 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 what the fuck tuckery? Hey, oh, here we go. Yeah, BT-20, yeah. Even though I know for a fact that where I just first shot it would have... Ruptured the entire ammo rack. And if you really want to go there. Be... For fuck's sake. Seriously, the hitbox of the dead tank is that big. Uh, if you want to kill a fucking... You aim... There. 
Literally, that drive rule right there. Sherman, if you want to kill it. Uh, there. What's that? ISU. There we go. Ah, there we go. And yes, you can kill an I uh, 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 an IS two with a Panzer IV. All right, let's see. KV right in the diesel fuel tank. There you go. Alright, that is a... Ah! Oh, another Easy 8. If it's an Easy 8. Ah, wet storage Easy 8. Okay. There we go. That's what the W means. W means wet stowage. That's a wet stowage, Sherman, from the front. Okay. Uh, no, machine gun port. Yeah, it got reinforced. Uh, lower case got, re case got reinforced. Yeah, you'd have to... I mean, like I said, I've already shot at that tank so many times it, it might... It's, Dead three times over. Oh, well, you're back. Okay. Well. No, you're not. So. Sherman from the front. No. No. Ah, that's the Jumbo Sherman. Interesting. Okay. Well. You, you knock out its tracks. Hmm. Have they modeled the uh, fuel tank correctly? They have not. See that plate on the side? Right there. That's to protect the inner crew, but you want to go to the middle bogey wheel. That's where the wet stowage rack is. Especially on a Sherman. And this is just a straight Panzer IV. Wow, that Sherman is still cooking off. Okay. Anyway, you're starting to see the issue that I'm talking about. Okay. Planes within reason are useless at cast without bombs okay now bear in mind that's a different story it could be a different story if i swapped it out and showed you uh, the the bf uh, a 110 who knows long story short gaijin you gotta get your shit together man seriously you gotta get your shit together because this is just this isn't even a funny joke your heart's in the right place, I get that. But you've really got to fucking sort your shit out. Anyway, guys. See you in the next one.